I don't know if you can even see me. It, it is Monday morning, it's half past six, and I'm on my way to Lincoln. I always drive there first thing on a Monday morning and then stay there for the week. Time to get going. Drive was grotty, it was raining, it was disgusting, and now I'm navigating my way through the autumn leaves to get to work. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not know how people go to work without eating breakfast. Like, that couple of hours on my drive from home to Lincoln without food in my belly is long. It baffles me how people just can get up and function without food. Anyway, time for work. I've just finished my early morning run with one of the other F1 doctors, um, my friend Joe. Now I'm going to go in and get ready for the day. I'm a bit tired because it's early, it's like 6am. Yesterday I did my food shop and I just chatted to my sister after work. So quite a busy evening but I forgot to vlog any of it. Well it's actually light now. I feel so fresh after my little run. I don't know about you guys but the days where I wash my hair, which is not as often as it probably should be because I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered to dry and style my hair. I just feel really good. Time for work. Tuesdays are always a really busy day because we have ward round, which is where we sit with the consultant nurse and the patients come in one by one and you have a meeting with them to discuss what the future plan is for the next week. My job in that is to sit and write the notes and that is all day on a Tuesday so it's kind of tiring and I don't get a lunch break because we have teaching so that is going to be busy busy. That's a fail, I forgot my name badge so I'm going back to my flat now to pick it up. So while we're here I may as well show you my outfit for the day. So I've got this lace top on, little leopard print belt, and pencil skirt and just some shiny black pumps. Oh, I'm so late. I'm so late. I was good this morning, so um, I went to go and see a patient who has been brought in by the police on a section 136. And now I'm on my way to teaching for the next two hours. Oh, this light's a bit weird. Oh, that's even weirder. <laughs> uh, that'll do. Uh, teaching was interesting today. It was about um, ACS, which is acute coronary syndrome, basically heart attacks. We all know the basic principles of what you're meant to do, but um, this teaching was just a bit more in-depth and practical. So that was really useful. And I rushed straight back to the ward, got on with the ward round and the ward jobs. Normally after ward round there's quite a few jobs to do on the ward, lots of bloods and ECGs. There was a patient complaining of abdominal pain, prescribing yeah, so pretty standard day on the ward. I've changed into some comfy leggings and I'm gonna have a little snack. So I'm making myself some blueberries and just putting some yogurt on top. And I'm going round to my friend Helen's for dinner tonight and we're gonna watch Bake Off. So that will be lovely. So Bake Off is good. I haven't been keeping up with this series. Helen made a delicious lasagna and then we had this like chocolatey dessert that was like way too rich. Um, so all in all a great evening. Keeping my makeup off and getting ready for bed. I think it's about half nine. But after my early run this morning, I'm ready for bed. It's really nice to have a night off of not doing anything and not having to cook myself dinner. I'm back from work got my comfy clothes on. That's always one of the first things I do when I get back. So the last couple of days at work have been really good. What I've been up to today was fresh. Um, there was understaffing and the nurses like things, so they were just running around like, like headless chickens. They had so much to do. And there had been two new admissions and one of my jobs as a junior doctor is to clerk in new patients. So what that basically means is take a full history, examine them, take any bloods, do an ECG. But normally when patients come in onto the psychiatric unit, obviously they've got quite severe mental health problems and they're acutely unwell with those problems. So normally they are not in the best frame of mind to sort of sit and have a chat with me. And that was certainly the case this morning. And in the afternoon, it was ward round. And today was really lovely because a couple of a couple of really good things happened. I don't want to go into obviously too much detail about specific patients because of patient confidentiality. But there was one patient who, who was discharged from his section. What that basically means is that when he came into hospital, he was deemed really unwell and um, psychiatrists can section patients, which means that they are not allowed to leave um, the ward or leave the hospital without special arrangements in place. They do that so that um, they got a chance to 
get the patient stable on some medication and have some treatment so that they can get better. Now this patient had been sectioned a while ago and he's improved massively in the time that he's been on the ward. And today in the ward round he was told his section was being removed so he was no longer sort of being forced to stay in hospital against his will. He was just so happy. He burst into tears. He was so happy. So that was like, that was a really fulfilling moment because we've obviously seen that patient get better over time so so for one of our other patients a lady from a charity came in and sat with us the patient had ended up in police custody before he was admitted to the hospital like a lot of our patients are the police then contacted this charity saying that they thought that this this guy was really vulnerable and the charity the police and our staff in the NHS had all collaborated together to get a great outcome for our patient. It was really lovely to see because it just seems like this patient who was in a really terrible situation before he was admitted to hospital, it looks like he's got a pretty bright future now. So yeah, tonight I'm going to be doing some painting for my Etsy shop, so watch this space. And here is the dog that I painted last night. So cute! Hi guys, so it's Thursday morning. I will just show you my outfit. I'm just ready for work. I'm sorry about the terrible lighting. I've got a little dress on that is from a brand called Closet London and I have on the worst and most ugly shoes in the world and I just wear these shoes when I'm going to be on my feet all day. I've got on an accessorised necklace and I've been trying to make my room in Lincoln look a bit more pretty and a bit more homely so I spent some time last night doing that. This print is actually one that is available in my shop, so I'll link that below. And these beautiful ones by a lady called Mia Felce, and she just makes the most beautiful coloured art, so check her out on Etsy. Oh, and also last night, I spent some time adding pom-poms to my feather cushion. Just did that while I was on the phone to my mum. Let me know what you guys think. It's finally Friday morning. Got that Friday feeling. Just thought I'd show you guys my outfit of the day. So I've got this top that you've seen in my other videos and this peachy coloured necklace. And then I have some grey trousers and my little white shoes. I've just finished work and I'm about to drive home for the weekend. So I'm pretty tired now. The week has wiped me out. We have a lot of discharge summaries to write up, which is where when patients leave the hospital, we write a little summary of their care um, to send to the GPs. And because the patients that we have in psychiatry tend to stay in hospital for quite a number of weeks at a time, looking through all the patient notes can take a really long time. And I've also got stuff to do for my portfolio. I just stayed a little bit, of, a bit, little bit late at work just to get those things tied up nicely. I find that the admin side of things actually takes me a really long time compared to the actual clinical work, but I just guess that's part of the job. Today has been really busy. I had a meeting with one of the consultants and a couple of the other junior doctors, and I had lots of ward jobs to do. And I got called over to the female ward because there was a lady who needed a catheter inserted. Good use of clinical skills. It's the first time in ages I've had to do something where um, it's a bit practical. So. I, as you can tell from my sleepy looking eyes, I'm knackered from the week. Um, I've got a few Etsy orders to get on with this weekend and I'm going down to London. So really looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to a big long sleep because I'm exhausted. <laughs> so over and out.